Joining me now for Quake Week is Andrew Phelps. He's the director of the Oregon Office of Emergency Management. Andrew, thank you for being here and tell me what the Office of Emergency Management does and what role you would play in the event of an earthquake. Absolutely. We're essentially a coordinating agency for state level government and response. Uh, we take a planning role uh, in blue sky days and then once a disaster or large emergency hits, we make sure that everyone at the state level is singing from the same sheet of music. We're coordinating those state level resources, uh, sharing information and also making sure that our local partners who really are the ones that are out saving lives and protecting property, that they have the information and resources they need to most effectively do their job. No, when you talk about the agencies that you're working with, you're talking about cities and counties who have their own emergency offices, correct? Absolutely. We like to say in emergency management, every disaster is local, and that's certainly the case here in Oregon. So working with our, our cities, our, our counties, and even our tribes to make sure that uh, they're as prepared as they can be. What's the biggest challenge in an event like this? Gosh, uh, the biggest challenge is really... Uh, public information, I think, making sure that folks know uh, the scope of what's happening or what's happened and where they can go for resources to better protect themselves. Uh, emergency management and the government response is really just one aspect of preparing the entire community and the whole state of Oregon for a disaster and responding to that disaster. So making sure that the state's prepared to do what we need to do to move resources to, to the impacted communities is one part of that puzzle, but making sure that folks and, and individuals and families know that they have a role in protecting themselves. And there's a lot they can do uh, to mitigate the consequences of any disaster regardless of the cause. Yeah, let's talk about that. Uh, we've talked to experts who have talked about having an emergency preparedness kit, things in your house like food, water. Sure. Uh, what kind of other things are you suggesting for people to have on hand in case this happens? Gosh, you really need to take kind of that assessment of what you need for yourself. Every family is a little bit different. Every person is a little bit different. So if you have pets, you want to make sure you're prepared for your pets in an emergency. Uh, we see time and time again during a disaster that evacuations become an issue and people don't want to leave their pets at home if they don't feel like they can take their pets with them or they're not prepared to do that. So having a little bit of pet food, uh, vaccination records for your pets so that they can be kept at a shelter during an emergency evacuation is important. Important. and then medications and any other special need uh, issues that might arise for, for individuals. How do you drill for a circumstance like this? I assume you do have drills. We do. We, we practice this all the time. We don't have a lot of big disasters in Oregon, so it's important we keep our tools as sharp as they can be. And we do this through robust training and exercise programs, uh, but also doing simple things. When you're out at the coast, for example, taking notice of where the evacuation routes are, the tsunami evacuation routes, it's a great way just to have some of that stuff in your mind so you can be a little bit more reactive uh, should you find yourself uh, in an emergency situation. October 15th, we have the Great Oregon Shakeout happening at 10:15 in the morning, and that's an opportunity, for folks, for for folks to actually practice their drop, cover, and hold, which is the recommended response during a during an earthquake. Okay, what can you tell us about the uh, Great Oregon Shakeout? What's that all about? It's a it's a pretty unique opportunity here in Oregon and across the country, and it's encouraging folks at 10:15 in the morning. You can actually go to to the Great Shakeout.org and register uh, your yourself, your family, your your business uh, to participate. And at 10:15 in the morning, uh, everyone across the state of Oregon, hopefully Hopefully, we'll practice their drop, cover, and hold. We'd love to see you folks here in the newsroom get underneath your desks and, and simulate what you would do, what your response would be if the ground started shaking, which is to get underneath something sturdy, hold on, and wait until the, the shaking stopped before trying to exit a building. All right. Thank you. We appreciate it. Uh, Andrew Phelps, uh, head of the Office of Emergency Management here in the state of Oregon. And uh, we hope we don't have to put any of these into practice, but the likelihood is that one day we will. So back yeah. to you. Yeah, some good information, Ken. That does bring us to our Facebook.